When I had three toddlers and a six-year-old in my house, all I wanted to do was pass out. But I had to be a parent, right? So I invented a game. A game for any worn out parent who wants their kids to be active without being active themselves. A game with only a moderate chance of injury that will use none of your energy and all of theirs. I'd lay on my back on the floor and just rest. And my kids would sprint around me in close circles like in the racing portion of Duck Duck Grey Duck. Then every once in a while I'd shoot out my arm or leg and trip one of them, sending them sprawling headlong in gales of screaming laughter. Unexpected, unmitigated face plants on repeat. They thought it was uproarious. Sometimes I'd lay there for like two minutes while they ran and screamed and flinched and laughed, the tension building, the suspense almost more than they could bear. When is dad gonna destroy us? And what were these two minutes for me? Almost a nap, laying still in the eye of the storm. All I had to do for these moments of rest were shoot up my arm and trip a kid. Easy. Children being the practical neologizers that they are, this was called the running around game, and it was regularly requested. And how could I say no? All I wanted to do back then was lay on the floor anyway. Let's just say it was a symbiotic enterprise. But it's been 10 years since I've played, so all I can do now is pass it along to you in case it's of use. If you know a parent who just wants to pass out, let them know about the running around game. I promise that if it's not helpful, at least it'll be hilarious. Anyway, thanks for watching. Come along for more questionable parenting tips if you feel like it. Also, uh, language and sacrilege.